today we're going to use our new plug-in uh, hybrid car. It's been uh, rated by the manufacturer to go around 25 miles on a charge without having to use any gasoline. But I'm going to try to see if we can go 40 miles today. We love the environment. I love my wife. We love our dear friends. And we really love caring for the earth, doing our part to help and getting a plug-in hybrid car was one small thing that we decided to do. And being able to stretch and get even more range than the manufacturer thinks is possible, well, that's one small way that we can help. So if you'll see, we are about to start out. We have 100% on the battery, and we reset the trip meter at zero miles. So we're going to take you on a little trip along the main coast and show you a few beautiful spots along the way and um, hopefully get something good. Okay, we're just going down our road. Nice 25 mile an hour speed limit. And going 25 in this car is very, very good for the battery. We just went down to 99%. We've only gone three-tenths of a mile, but things will definitely average out. Leaving our house, we have a little bit of a hill, so that's always going to use more. But we're going to show you some really pretty stuff along the way to make it worth the trip. Well, we've reached four miles, and we're at 91% battery, so we are on track to reach our 40 mile goal on electric vehicle mode. We're currently in South Thomaston, Maine, and we're gonna take you to a lovely spot called the Reversing Falls. Because depending on which way the tide's going, the waterfall goes in one direction or the other. Pretty neat. It's nice to live in the Maine coast unlike any place in America or the world. We're approaching the Reversing Falls in South Thomaston, Maine. We're going to pull off and show you a little bit better. Are we on? The comment about the motorcyclist and everything? Ah, oh, great. Well, we're here. We're going to take a walk. Oh, hold on. Hi. Uh, so, I'm Danita on the other half, and uh, we have admired these falls for years. And sometimes it's a full basin and it's kind of balanced. But today you're going to see the actual, like, rapids. We even tried to kayak this once. <laughs> that was funny. But um, this is just gorgeous, and it's, it's a, one of Maine's beautiful spots. And we just wanted to show you that this is part of our life. We love it. Here we go. Watch where you step in. It's not going to probably be able to hear you because there's so much water. Noise. <laughs> so the basin's rolling out right now, but in a few hours this is going to turn around and go back up. This is really, really neat to see. So how are we doing on uh, our mileage? Um, we're on a good track for 40. You know, it, it all balances out, but we're on nice slow roads, so we can definitely get 
more mileage out of the battery than we can if we had to go highway. But uh, we're looking good so far. Okay. Again, the goal is to take a car that the manufacturer suggests might get around 25 miles on a charge and to demonstrate that, you know, if you really drive carefully and consciously, you can get a lot more out of that. So you're getting even more value out of a car like this if you can drive it in a good way. Uh, to be able to get 40 miles in a plug-in car that's rated for 25, that's pretty good. I know, that's so exciting. So beautiful uh, main scenery right here. Can't beat it. And what town are we in again? <laughs> uh, we're in South Thomaston, Maine. South Thomaston. They, they meld together so quickly. So, beautiful. All right, next stop. We're at eight miles, and we're at 81% on battery, about to go down to 80%. But we're still on track for a 40 mile round trip on battery only. And she's showing me again. <laughs> hey, you're the narrator. I'm the narrator doesn't mean I can't just keep it to voiceovers. The navigator of this beautiful drive. some pretty th amazing things really soon. Oh yeah, if you pan over to the right, yeah. we'll see uh, some of Owl's Head, Maine. This is what Mid-Coast Maine is all about. to land in the smog. <laughs> Fog. Fog. <laughs> but yeah, they really use that specific spot in Maine to train. Pretty cool. We have our little dash here to tell us we're feeding back into our battery. I love that. When it's going green, it means we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're going downhill on a slight downhill. Oh, look at the new when we see growth and development that's in a positive direction really cool what's up what's up next well I was thinking the, the lighthouse but we could actually take a turn here and go to little Rockland Park yeah let's do that okay so we're heading down toward the water and a lot of Rockland. these rock yeah we're in Rockland now some of these houses are very very old um, and some of them have been remodeled, but it's just gorgeous as you head down. It's so peaceful here. 
and again the speed limit is just slow <laughs> I love that there's an old used to be a store front and there it is And way in the distance, you can see our famous breakwater lighthouse. This, so down, this, downtown this Rockland. Is, this is downtown Rockland. Lovely place. Little shops. A lot of arts movie yes. house, Art. Bakery. My favorite place, which is the sewing shop. Consignment um, stores. Yeah. Sea bags. These aren't brands. These are <laughs> shops. These Let's are not add narration of what they're not okay. wanting to see. Let's just describe what we're seeing. Beautiful old buildings from the turn of the century and before. This is downtown Rockland. Oh, sorry, mister. Again, beautiful buildings. Downtown Rockland. Downtown Rock, one main street. There you go. That's it. And to the right, just a hop ahead. Oh yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> the ferry terminal. And, how, and once the ferry terminal go out to the, the islands. What islands? <laughs> Vinyl Haven and North Haven and Matinicus. And we have a lot, there's like always a big line to get onto the ferry, which is crazy. We've actually never taken the ferry. Yeah, we have enough to look at and enjoy on the mainland. It's gorgeous though, but those are the islands out there. You can see them. So this is like leaving downtown. There's a, uh, one more thing, there's a uh, apprentice shop for building ships, which is really cool because, you know, it's a dying art, but it's coming back. And I'm going to keep pointing this way because here is our ocean connection all the way up the coast. We'll get peaks of it. background there's there's always views of seafood. land and seafood and the guy in front of us is actually driving like me. Nice. <laughs> Good driving also we love that. Known as slow. And steady wins the race because how are we doing with our we are above we're, we are we are doing better it. than than estimated. Oh there it is. We are doing better than estimated, so we're nice. we're on great track to hit 40 miles. Awesome. All right, we'll catch you up in just a moment. Well, update on our battery. We are at 70% now. Sorry, a little bump. <laughs> we're good. Okay, update on the battery. We're at 70%, and we've gone 13.4 miles. So we are very very clearly on track for 40 miles on this charge and she's gonna film me again <laughs> this is our journey hon well it's uh not so much a journey as a demonstration of the value that plug-in cars have in helping our environment yeah we're not burning any gasoline right now we haven't burned a drop of gasoline since we left our house uh, more than an hour ago with little stops along the way. Yeah. It's a good thing. It does matter. We, we're trying to make a difference. All right. Well, we're at 60% battery. 
we've gone 16.4 miles. We lost about 3% of the charge having to accelerate on Route 1 up a big hill. Uh, so obviously that, you know, is a little more taxing than just be bopping along on the little back roads. But, uh, you know, it's just how you have to average it all out. We're still on a good course though for 40, 40 miles. I think we're gonna make it. We're on Route 1 now in Rockport, Maine. So yeah, this is a little busier, <laughs> but it's still quite beautiful. And uh, we don't mind this trip at all. It's, um, it's just lovely. That's where we buy a lot of trees and plants. So that side's inland. Again, oceans to the right. <laughs> But there's no um, billboards or any kind of uh, major advertising in Maine. They don't allow it. So it's all peaceful and green. Lots and lots of trees. Very sustainable living in Maine. Most people get on board with it. And the ones that don't, we're like, come for a visit, go home. But those who love it here end up moving here. Oh, that was cute. Fresh carrot. That is cute. <laughs> That's adorable. So, yeah, we're heading to our most favorite place, and one of the main reasons why we moved to Maine is this special little town called Camden. And we will be there shortly. And we will share some of our highlights of camping with you, because that's part of why we're even out today. All right, be back in a moment. This is the Rockport, Maine Harbor. It's a secret gem. Most people don't know about it. <laughs> little parking area, little picnic areas. We're in Rockport, Maine, about to leave Rockport, Maine and enter Camden, Maine. And right up ahead is the beautiful Camden Arch, uh, very well known in this area and even beyond because it appeared in a movie back in the 1950s. And by the way, we just hit 20 miles on our little journey here and we're still at 53% battery, so I say Hitting 40 miles is reasonable and realistic, and we're gonna stop and visit a friend right here. Well, this is downtown Camden, Maine. It's uh, summertime, and even in the middle of a pandemic, we have a lot of tourist crowds and traffic. It's also right at lunchtime, so that might make a difference. But it's a lovely place to be. We really love Camden. So pretty, so scenic. So many nice, nice people here. And we're going to take you down and show you the Camden waterfront, the town landing with beautiful Camden Falls. So there's Main Street that way. And we're going down the side road to the water. That's if we can find the spot. <laughs> well, we're just kind of come and take a look at the falls. We don't necessarily need to need to park. Yeah, you could probably go in front of those guys. You can even just stay in the car and I'll get a couple shots. Okay. Are you still filming? Yeah. So why don't you just like pull all the way up and then we'll... You'll just stay in the car? Yep. Okay. These are permit parking well, only. We're not leaving the car. Yeah, go ahead. You could have stopped filming by now. Okay. 
So it's a really hot day here and um, the parking lot's full so we have our masks ready but we're just going to take a quick picture of the falls. They're gorgeous. So um, Dean's going to walk over and do that and I'm just going to sit in the car. Have fun! So this is Main Street, Camden. Downtown Camden. And uh, at that hill way in the back, it's called Mount Batty. And at the top, there's a little tiny castle. I don't know if I can focus in on that. It's a state see park. It. Yeah, state park up there. So it's actually gorgeous. And you can see the entire oh, we harbor. Got it, we got it out. Okay. She didn't and even turn. She didn't look. She didn't even look. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. <laughs> and sometimes you get hit. <laughs> sometimes you. She had to just, again, why can't we just love each other and be nice? That's what we want to see in the world. Love thy neighbor. <laughs> A little more. A lot more in these times. Because our patience is thin. How are we doing on our his, charge? He's, he's not, not in, in a thing. crosswalk, so it's not clear what he's trying to do. Yeah. He's just standing there watching. He's waiting for something opening. And so how are we with what? How are we doing with our uh, charge there, Dean? Uh, we're at 52%. We did a lot of downhill from our friend's house to the harbor. So we actually gained a percent. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat when you get power back. We like power back and then our little charger. Well, now we're, oh, we're, we're now we're going uphill, so we're we're using it. Yeah, uphill. We're about to hit fifty percent, so let's document that. Okay, let's see if I can get in on that. We have gone twenty-one point two miles, and we're about to reach fifty percent. Currently at fifty-one. No, now we're fifty percent. Whoa. We're on track to go forty miles plus. That's pretty impressive, although. As we go uphill, we'll lose a little more here, and then it's a big downhill, so we'll gain some of it back. Okay. 49%. There we go. Got to turn this uh, off. We are doing good. Let's go. Okay. We're about to hit 40%. We've now gone 24.2 miles. Still on track for a 40 mile EV ride. EV being electric vehicle. Okay, 40%. We've gone 24.4 miles. We're doing good. We have almost hit the expected average range for this car, which is 25 miles. And we still have more than a third of the battery capacity remaining. Pretty cool. Yeah, excellent. So we're, we're making a couple comments here, um, extending the range of the car is possible in part due to good driving habits, but also we are choosing not to use the AC. That's a big part of that. Uh, in Maine we can get away with that a lot more often than in other areas of course. But uh, it, it is worth noting that's how we can get so many more miles out of one charge than what the manufacturer is expecting people to get. 
and um, another thing too is by not using gasoline very much we have to think about how we keep the gas in the engine from going bad um, we've only used the car with gasoline for 24 miles since we got it and drove it home from the dealership more than an hour away and I've made many trips in the car since then completely on battery power so I have to consider putting fuel stabilizer or something in it um, just just wanted to mention that Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, we're getting close to that. Uh, yeah, we're almost mark. we're almost at thirty percent. Uh, see if I can do this a little bit better. Now I'm still pretty shaky. Let's see, where are we? Oh, we're actually gaining. It just went to thirty-two percent because we were downhill a little bit. There we are. I can see it now. Nope, it's really hard. Help if I help hold stabilize it? Yeah, Does that well, that's help? a lot better. So it's at 31 percent. 31 percent, and uh, about to hit 30 percent. And look at the gas gauge; it still says full. So again, we have not used much gas at all. And we've uh, gone on this trip today, 29.3 miles. Okay, we just hit 30% and we've gone almost 30 miles. So are we going to make it to that 40 mile goal that we had at the beginning of this day? We certainly are. Okay, we'll check back in, in a moment. Well, we're about to hit 20% going up this hill, I bet. Watch this, we're gonna hit 20%. Okay, and we've gone 33.9, 34 miles. 34 miles on battery only, 19%. So we are gonna reach our goal of 40 miles on a single charge. Woohoo! <laughs> I love when we do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Seven miles on battery only. We're gonna hit 10% one of these moments. Anytime now, anytime. <laughs> I don't know, it's charging. <laughs> yeah, right now it is, because we're foot off the gas and we're slowing down to turn, so it recaptures some of that kinetic energy. So here's a left turn here. Now we'll go down to 10. As we accelerate a little bit. 85 degrees out today. Okay, 10%. There we go. And we've gone 37 and a half miles. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, we're gonna make 40. We are gonna make 40 miles. Oh, we're gonna try. Oh, we are. Okay. Let's see what happens. It's very suspenseful. <laughs> well, I've done like three or four trips. Yeah, but and I made 40 miles, however, so I know I could do it. However, I have not been in the car 
So we shall see. So I got some precious cargo with me this time. <laughs> precious cargo. You think so, eh? Oh yeah. yeah. So I have not been in the car and again, we're just using the windows for cooling, which is okay. It's called, it's called the economical air conditioning. I know most of us don't know what we would do without it, but again, it is a little bit yeah, let it's her, like let 10 me degrees. roll my window down a little more. <laughs> Maine is actually like 10 degrees cooler than where we used to live in southern New England. So this is actually nice and uh, comfortable for us. So we'll see We'll see how close we get to home. We have one more uh, scenic stop to show you. Okay. It's Clark Island, Maine. It's our neighborhood. So that's going to be our last stop. And then we'll be heading home. And by then, we'll just hit that 40-mile goal that we had set for ourselves. Um, what time did we leave the house, darling? Uh, I think oh, 10 o'clock. Then we've been going almost three hours with our little stops. And uh, we still, we're still at 10%. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. We'll check back in a minute. Okay. So this is our little Clark Island village used to have a post office and dance hall and all kinds of cool things. We took a um, historical tour. That's, that used to be the dance hall. And um, I forget which one was post office. <laughs> like, think right there with the flag. But yeah, that was it. the coolest thing about this little village is um, there was a lot of quarry, quarries here and they used to take uh, granite from these quarries and they ended up in like Central Park and um, places like that. I'm going to show you the water if I can get it. And there's a little charging station right there, which is pretty cool. So we're going to park and show you the little island. This is uh, one of our favorite spots. Not a bad neighborhood to call home, don't you think? Yep. We come down here pretty often. We were here the other night taking shots of the, uh, what was it, the comet? The comet. Yeah, and we also saw Jupiter and Saturn. And that's Clark Island, which was just this month announced to be mostly preserved by the Maine Coast Heritage Oops. Agency. <laughs> okay. Gorgeous day in Clark Islands. The ocean, the cove. It's gorgeous. Maine, the way life should be. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> We're gonna go find the path. There's a new trail. Preserve and oh, beach, beach access. Nice. Yeah, I see stuff down there. But this is so much nicer. Looks like a lot of people are using it. Clearly more. Pretty well tramped down already. heading home just up Clark Island here and just wanted to show you when we hit our 40 mile goal 40 miles of pure electric vehicle driving today and take a look at the battery still at 8% there you go and we hit 40 miles so we could still go a couple more miles if we really really wanted to Woohoo! 
<laughs> well, we'll have another half mile by the time we get home. But we reached our goal and had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, that was nice. It's great. Life, at, life in a day, July 25, 2020. And we thank you for watching. We hope that uh, this inspires others to want to get a, a good and fuel economy car, preferably one that has the plug-in capabilities because there are much better ways to produce electricity than necessarily the gasoline burning in cars. So it is a cleaner way to drive and we're very grateful that we could get this car. It's one that we wanted, a car like this for a long, long time, many years and finally had the ability to do so and the circumstances. So I just wanted to share this adventure with you and we do thank you for being a part of it. And I love my dear wife and I thank her for being such a good sport today <laughs> and for going the AC as well. Well, again, it's, um, it's something that if we're just taking a drive around, I, I can live without certainly. Um, if it got into the 90s or above. Well, it's 85, yeah, so it's no, pretty it's, close. It's, it's doable, but, um, but I'm more concerned about our, our um, environment, taking care of others. I mean, all those things we said, it, we, we believe. That's our core value. So it's worth it. It's so worth it. And um, again, we want to take care of others as well as ourselves. So thank you again for being on this journey with us. Take care, everybody. Bye. So this is in our driveway. We're going to pull forward, but just to show you, we still had 7% Still has, left. Still had 7%, and we actually hit 41 miles. And pretty, we're just pulling in our driveway. Pretty amazing. We're, we're really happy. Happy that we could demonstrate this. Again, what a day. What a day. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful world if we only could all take a little better care of it. And there we go. We'll get off our soapbox now. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> We're going to go eat some leftovers. It's so good to eat, live in this world. Take care.